see Lindelof video solving differential equations. I'm going to try to make this quick. I promised I'd get this video out today, so hopefully this finds you in good health. This video is really aimed at those of you who are going to be taking the AP Cal exams. Uh, on the calculator section, this should really, really help out, save you a ton of time. So let's take a quick look. All I'm going to do here is go to the home screen, choose calculator, and then I'm going to use this differential equation solver, and there are two ways to get there. Uh, the most direct, if you got confused about how to get there, would just be here. Go to calculus and search through your calculus screen. Remember, you can scroll down, and here it is, differential equation solver. So there's that. You could type in your differential equation. The other way, and the way that a lot of people use it is this way. They just type in D-E-S-O-L-V. Check this out. I'm making a mistake here. O L V. Look at this for a second. See, this is in italics. This is a really cool thing that the handheld does. That if you type something in, as soon as it recognizes it as a function that it that it can achieve for you, it changes the ital it changes the italic print into standard print. So as soon as I type this e in, the calculator says, "Yes, I this is a function that I can perform for you." Now you have to make sure it's the correct function that really is the thing you want it to do. But assuming that that's how I would do that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in this equation. It's really simple. Uh, and I'm going to use one that I came up with, which was that y prime in the prime key. Here's the inner key here. Here's the this. Go to prime right there. Choose that is equal to. And then I'm going to type this in. I use 9x squared. And I know somebody out there is going, I can do this in my head. I know you can. I'm just trying to show you a really simple equation. This can do much more comp complex work, but not necessary. Right? And then we have to type in in terms of x why really important these last two things if you don't put that in correctly the calculator will give you back an argument mistake the problem with that is it never tells you what the problem with your argument is it doesn't clarify for you so you need that so <clears throat> here we are it gives us back this function and it says that it's of the family 3x cubed plus x squared plus x plus this is c7 it's the seventh uh, it's the seventh number that i've come up with for i guess today that's the constant value. So what this gave you is a general solution. But you could take this, and if you had a little bit more information, you could get a particular solution. What I would do is this. I would go. Use, I'm using my up cursor to go here. I'm going to hit Control C for copy. I'm going to go back down to here. I'm going to hit Control V for version. And then what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to use my cursor and go back to. Whoops. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to here. Right? I'm going to give myself a space, and I'm going to type, I'm actually going to literally type in the word and, A, N, D. Remember we talked about italics to standard. It does recognize that. So I'm going to put in this and some value that I know of the original function. For example, that y of, uh, y of, of 1 is negative 2. So y of 1 is equal to negative 2. Right? <clears throat> then I hit enter and it gave me back the particular solution. Right? But you have to make sure you actually own this point. That it actually, But assuming this is a correct point, a point that you own, it's a great way to do this. You're going to see a lot of opportunities to use this thing on the AP exam. I hope this video was short enough that it helped you a lot. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. It's my pleasure to do this. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks.